All right, y'all, so here's the deal. I'm on my lunch break, and we've had a lot of rain, which means the dam is open, which means there's current at one of my favorite spots, which means it's a really good idea to fish it. So I drove down here real quick on my lunch break to get in about 20 minutes of fishing, and when I got here, I realized I don't have any of my tackle with me. I don't have my tackle box, I don't have my bag, I don't have anything except for the rods that I left in here, thank God, and my net. It's weird, I left my net and a couple rods in here, but absolutely zero tackle. So, I was about to leave, I was about to call it, I was about to give up, like this is dumb, just go get a bite to eat, go back to work. But, that voice in my mind said, dude, there's a lot of current down here, you have to try. So you know what I'm gonna do? I said, you know what, forget it. Let's do a quick challenge. Let's turn this into a challenge, a 20 minute, no tackle box challenge. All I have is three rods, I think maybe four, at least three. And I don't even know what's on most of them. I know one of them has a creature bait, which is where all my confidence is, okay? So, but I got three or four rods. So that means I got three or four choices, but that's it. So I'm gonna give it a shot, 20 minutes, no tackle box, only what's on my rods. Let's go see if I can catch something quick. Stay tuned, peace. Solid smally, holy crap. Fourth cast, you guys, fourth or fifth cast. Really nice small. Yeah, it's it's probably 20 inches. That you guys. Solid fish. Well, believe it or not, I got an eight out of this lake, so you can get it. Definitely possible. My favorite time of year is actually summer for big ones. I've got uh eight and uh three sevens all in the summer, so Oh yeah, yeah. You definitely got. Yeah, yeah. I usually in the summer I'm fishing the other side of the lake, but with all this current, I knew I had to come down here. Yep. All right. Good luck to you guys. Thanks again. All right, you guys. Really nice. Look at that toad, you guys. That fish. It is just a stud. That is an absolute stud, you guys. There she goes. See them yet, you guys? Feels decent. It's another big smally. He's not as big, but still a nice one. Of the mouth. 
That is just a chunky, chunky fish. But 18 and a half, 19. It's not as long as the last one, but it's really fat, dude. Look at the belly on that thing. Look at the belly on that thing, you guys. Really fat. Not as long as the last one, but beautiful, dark, dark smallie. From the current, man. That's why they're in here. Smaller. Still fun though. Smile those weeds. Smile these fight in this current, man. Still not a bad fish. Smallest one of them. Smallest one here on my lunch break. But most guys would be very happy with the bass like this in Wisconsin. Probably 17, 16 inches all day. Smallest one yet. It's crazy. Look at that. Two pounds. That's a two pounder. Look at his belly. He goes two pounds all day, man. That's a beautiful smallmouth. Look at that. You know, it's a good day when you're saying this is your smallest and you're complaining about that. I'm not really complaining, though. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys, that was pretty good. That was a success. I would say that the 20-minute no tackle box challenge went very well. Just goes to show you guys, go with your gut. You know, if you feel like you got a chance to catch a fish, just throw a few casts, give it a shot. You never know what you're going to get. I just caught three really nice bass. Um, that first one was over 19 inches for sure, probably 19 and a half. That second one was probably around 18 to 18 and a half. And then that last one, like I said, was 16 to 17 inches. So honestly, that'd be a good day for most guys in southern Wisconsin. So can't complain. Glad I stopped. Like always, you guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. And just keep casting.